Hi, how are you doing? Hey, this is my homie out in the YouTube comments. Uh, wanting more advice on how you can use key zones with samples. So I got a sample here. This is my old project for an old 19 November, uh, not 19 November, 20 November flip that I did Hi, years ago. How are you doing? I'm DJ Konami. You can see I already sliced the you know, sample up into uh, different metal samples. How are you doing? I'm DJ Konami. How, how are you? I'm DJ. Hi. So those are my different uh, samples. You can see here in the key zones Hi. that they are assigned Hi. to Hi. different Hi. notes. So you want to talk about how you can mess around with key pitch and stuff. So let's start with the... I'm DJ. I'm, I, I, I. First of all, you can change which note ranges this sample resides on. You can just you know, go up and down here. And you can also affect the velocity range as well. Hi. How are you doing? So you can, I put down the velocity range. Let's go down to, so it only triggers at like down here. Or I can put it all the way back up. So that's nice for like multi-trigger samples. If you have like a multi-sample instrument, like a real instrument, and you want different samples triggering at different velocities, and that's how you can trigger that. So if you can layer different samples that happen at different times. How are you, how are you doing? So Hi, I'm DJ Konami. I'm DJ I'm DJ That only happens up here. How are you doing? How are you do how are you and that only happens up here. So going back to key pitches. You can see here, there's a key pitch button that you can turn off and off when it's able. It will always play at the, at the original key. Turn this back on. And then it will start matching the key pitch of the key you pressed. So you can do that. So let's say I can I can have this up here and just I can have this down in the third octave range, and then I can have this up in the fourth octave range. <laughs> And then with this, you can mess around with all these samples and you can have them trigger at different at different octave ranges and you can still have the freedom of key pitch range. Uh, and if you want to still if you want to move these around to different uh, zones, but not have it so that okay, so I have it down in C two. I'm DJ Konami. I'm I'm DJ I'm I'm DJ I'm I'm See how that 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 first note is there is the bass note. It doesn't change the the starting pitch of the sample. I, I, but you can do that as well. You can change where the bass note is. So I'm gonna put the bass note all the way down here. So now it sounds super high pitch as a starting note. And you can also do that down here. You can make it start here, start here. 
Okay, go down here. So those are the different ways you can mess around with samples uh, in Keyzone Layer. Uh, so try that out. Uh, if you have more questions, I'm happy to answer them. Everyone should use more trackers. Trackers are great.